Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say my dog, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to Kennedy. I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better me. Y'all seen the clips. Y'all seen the news. Y'all seen the highlights. The Mavs eliminated the LA Clippers. As I, I expected, I, I, I called it. I called it my NBA predictions where I couldn't really drop the video. I didn't have time. But I called it. I said Mavs will win the series in six. Now, I, did, I said it with a healthy Kawhi, which I should have expected him not to be, unfortunately. With healthy James Harden, Paul George, Russell Westbrook, and the rest of the team. I should have expected them to, you know, come out here in the last two games and drop 33 points combined in the last two games. Same amount of points they had a game for. Both of them. James Harden and... Paul George. So, you know what? I'm done with them. I'm about to put it in and them. This is going to be a evisceration, but that's not going to be the title. I'm going to title this video. The Los Angeles Clippers have disappointed everyone again. What's good, y'all? Shabo, we're back again with another video. Now, before I get into the video, if y'all enjoyed this NBA commentary, y'all love the, the NBA players going on, y'all love to want to hear that everything that's going behind the scenes the NBA playoffs, give it a like, subscribe, trying for new, dropping these all week long, trying to drop it every other day so I can. Appreciate y'all for the support. Now, I'll go about one by one. James Harden, you will be known as the biggest, one of the biggest playoff chokers in NBA history. I'm, I'm just going to keep, keep it above with you. You're a great player. One of the best ISO players we ever seen in the game. One of the best scorers we ever seen in the game. One of the best regular season players that's ever been in the game. You're going to be known as that. But when it comes to playoffs, you shrink. You had one good game. Actually, game one was decent for you. But you had one good game that was game four. You dropped 33 points, including a lot of floaters in the fourth quarter when you came up clutch for once. After that, you dropped 33 points in the last two games. Including choking game five and not even showing off for game six. Paul George, same thing. Paul George is one of my favorite players, actually. Washington. Probably, in my opinion, other than Kevin Durant, he's the most smooth player that's in the game. Okay? He showed up in game four. Same thing, 33 points. He was unguardable. In the first half of that game. Right? Let's be honest. That was the only game you showed up this series. The only one. Because game three, you dropped a whopping seven points. And then, you did the same thing in game five and game six. Where you dropped a combined 15, uh, combined 33 points. So, you and James Harden just equal. Do y'all really show up in playoffs? Did... Well, and then the pot, like press conference, what was that press conference? What the hell was that press conference? Talking about, oh, we lose, we lose. There's no pressure on us. That's a loser mentality. Paul George, excuse me. Paul George, that's a loser mentality. Why would you say that? I love watching your podcast. I want you really to explain that comment. Because that, that that's just a comment where you just you just say things because we because y'all lost. What was that? Kawhi. I actually feel bad for Kawhi. I do. He he he's trying. He tried to play a couple of these games. Could it? It just seems like it's it's wrong wrong place, wrong time. Every time when the playoffs come around the last couple of years, he's getting hurt. If Kawhi was healthy, this would be a different series. Let's be honest. It would. I still would have the maps and since Bill being a lot better. A lot more convincing. 
they're going to keep Kawhi, okay? I don't know about Paul George or James Harden. There's reports Paul George might go to Orlando. And then that, and there's reports that he did not can stand his contract. Now the Clippers. Steve Ballmer. Y'all going to Inglewood. Y'all going to Inglewood. Y'all moving to Inglewood next year. New, new arena. And y'all let this happen in the first round. Y'all let Carrie dance all over y'all in the first round. It's a terrible look. And I'm, I'm sick and tired of these analysts really, you know, raving about the Clippers during the regular season. I'm sick of it. They can look as good as they want to, but I'm tired of y'all overrating the LA Clippers because they are very overrated. And it clearly shows they do all their regular season and don't do nothing in the playoffs. Russell Westbrook. You know what? I'm not going to give on Russell Westbrook at all because you come off the bench doing your thing, bro. You just give him the energy. You give him the tenacity. You bring your personality and the energy and the chemistry you need coming off the bench for this team. You you rave this team up, right? What Stephen A. said about you was bogus. It was it was some bogus stuff. You you had to call the NBA about Russell Westbrook. That was that was come on, bro. Like wow, uh, like really. But anyways. They need more out you too. They need more out of you. Um, Norman Powell just keep doing your thing. He doing he's doing his part. On really on player on the team to really doing his part consistently. As for the Clippers as a whole team next year, I don't know. I don't know if y'all blow this team up. I don't know what y'all would do. Y'all probably gonna run it back, but I don't. I don't think y'all would keep Paul George in my opinion. Um, and NBA fans, NBA analysts, y'all need to stop overrating this team. Just accept the reality. The players on this team, James Harden and Paul George, are choke artists in the playoffs. It is what it is, especially James Harden. I'm not even going to get too much into James Harden. That's all I'm going to do for this video, man. If y'all enjoyed, give a boy like, subscribe, subscribe for new. Comment down below if James Harden is the biggest playoff cho choke artist we have. That's all I'm going to say for this video. It's your boy, Will, and I'm out.